people are amazed uh, because from the outside we don't look very nice but everybody who walks in here looks around and it is such a beautiful church and everybody comments on it. I can't imagine going anywhere else. Uh, the congregation are very welcoming. I was made to feel at home as soon as I arrived and have been ever since. As far as St Barnabas is concerned, worship-wise, we would describe ourselves as Anglo-Catholic in a modern tradition. That is, we use a lot of ceremony to explain the liturgy to the people who come and worship with us. We are a mix of young and old, and in fact one of the encouraging things about St Barnabas is the proportion of youngsters to adults. For example, on Christmas Day, 25% of our congregation were under the age of 16, and for the most part we managed to retain them. I think one of the reasons for this is that we have a strong but small youth group that meet on a regular basis and really enjoy themselves. We believe that mission is a very important part of our ministry in the West End of Morecambe. There is a big problem with that. Uh, it's not mainly homelessness, it's people who live in deprived accommodation. We have just welcomed the food bank and the food bank are an essential part of what we would consider our mission to the West End of Morecambe. I'm the Secretary of Morecambe Homeless Action and we feed people four times a week. They come in not only for food but to talk to somebody and somebody to smile at them and because they don't get that. If sometimes if you're on benefits and maybe you've had problems with drugs or alcohol, people don't like you. But we are not judgmental. Anybody can come in and they'll all be treated well. We also do Barney's Lunch Club, which is mainly older people that come to our church, but anybody in the area is welcome. A two-course meal and bingo and a raffle. Morecambe is the most fantastic place to come and stay. Within our own parish boundaries, we, too, we have two excellent hotels and many more boarding houses. Morecambe is an ideal place to come if you want to get away quickly into the countryside, whether it be the Trough of Boland, the Lakeland Fells, or just stay in Morecambe and enjoy our wonderful coastline. The West End of Morecambe would be described um, by sociologists, I'm sure, as a deprived parish. And in fact, according to the Diocese of Blackburn, we're one of the most deprived parishes in the whole of the Blackburn Diocese. I mean, they used to call the West End the best end. <laughs> Very posh we were in those days. Uh, and unfortunately, the town just went down because it is beautiful here. But well, unfortunately, there's now, well, we've very little, in, well, no industry really. However, having said that, there's much in the West End of Morecambe to be thankful for. The Arts Council, for example, are supporting festivals based at the Alhambra and in our own church, and we hosted one of those early this year. The regeneration that's taking place around our church in particular is healthy and will encourage young families and people to move back into an area. The regeneration is wonderful because we were a very run-down area, uh, but as to what it will lead to, I don't know. I don't think we'll ever go back to tourists, uh, but it will make it nicer for people to live here. It's vital that Christ is made known in the West End of Morecambe as he is anywhere else in this world. <laughs>